Time for another stock review, this time Fulcrum Therapeutics, F-U-L-C. During this review, I'm going to show you the balance sheet, the profit, the loss, who's buying on the inside, should you buy this stock or not. I'm going to use all the latest software to provide you analysis, breaking news on the earnings, what's the short position, what's going on. I'm also going to do a back test on the stock so you can make an informed decision whether this is a stock for you to buy or own or whatever. All right, so we're going to get straight into to it. So do you think you can make money out of this? Can we turn the money printer on? Uh, it's very risky, of course. We're talking uh, therapeutics, always a risky play if you are in this kind of stock. Uh, so be very careful as my robot comes towards you uh, before you start to plugging in to buy this one. It's a very risky stock. Therapeutic stocks in the in the lab. Yeah, we're working in the lab. We're sitting around the table and uh, here come the white stuff. There you go. That's the white stuff. This is the table. We'll sit that. There you go. That's better. We're sitting around the table trying to make some money. Can we make some money on this stock? Well, you decide. I only own the S&P 500, so you know I'm telling you the truth. I'm not pumping and dumping stocks, but I do rank number one for most stocks that I cover. And what? is on my lapel today. Secret code. Has it got something to do with Illuminati? You decide. Comments in the chat and let me know what you think. All right. Let's start off nice and simple. And uh, if you are a member of our channel and you do a minimum of $5 super chat, you can have an earnings. You can have a review just like this. Uh, and uh, if you do the minimum, five bucks, it's at the bottom of the list. If it's more than that, it goes to the top of the list and you understand how it works. All right. It's a member's perk uh, with a five bucks super chat. Okay. Fulcrum Therapeutics. Let's start off nice and simple and uh, discuss what this is. There's the chart. Overall, you can see it's down uh, overall at 77%. You can see it's a trading stock up and down like a yo-yo. You know, full disclosure, very, very risky stocks. These are, uh, I wouldn't be touching Fulcrum Therapeutics. Uh, sorry, I, I rephrase that. Um, this industry, biopharmaceuticals, is extremely, extremely risky. So if you are doing it, remember, uh, one thing goes wrong, a trial goes wrong, they get sued, uh, something doesn't work out. You know, it's a very risky business. Uh, I own stocks like this within uh, companies like J&J, &J, within the S&P, much, much safer way of going. But anyway... Let's have a look at what it is. Fulcrum Therapeutics is a clinical stage biopharmaceutical company. The firm develops new medicines and focuses on unlocking gen, uh, uh, gene control mechanisms to develop small molecule therapies. Its products, uh, product candidates include Los, uh, Losma Pimod and FTX HBF. The company was founded by Michael R. Green, Danny Reinberg, Rudolf uh, Janesh and, and others. Uh, and is headquartered in Cambridge, MA. The listed name of FIA, FULC, is Fulcrum Therapeutics. The CEO, now, if you'd like to learn from the company itself, we have a Meet the CEO series. You can ask them to be live on the show with me. How do you do that? Well, email customer relations, investor relations, and tell them about the show that we have a Meet the CEO series. Uh, and uh, we are often rank number one for that. And then eventually you'll build up a relationship with them and they'll go, okay, then finally you can put them in contact with me, martin at martinlucas.com and uh, we can get them on the show. All right. Employee 76, Massachusetts. Uh, volume, no volume. So if you're trying to sell the stock, you could be stuck in the stock, trying to get out and you just simply can't because no one's prepared to buy. Remember, when you sell or buy a stock, it's a two-way transaction. To be able to buy something, someone's got to be selling it. If they're not selling it, the price goes up. That's how it works until they start selling. Such low volume means you've bought this stock, you want to sell it, and no one's prepared to pay the price that you want. Uh, so you have to sell it for less. That's what drives the stock down. Anyway, uh, I like high volume stocks. Uh, market cap, 178 million. Very, very small, around 100 million. We can actually move it live on our show. Not that so our intention, but if we rank number one and it's a bullish uh, um, review, and I don't know yet if it is or not, uh, you can often see the stock move uh, just because of the fact we rank number one for it. Price earnings ratio, it's losing money, 11, uh, negative 11 times earnings, so 11 times losses. At the moment, not very good at all. Uh, but that's what you'd expect from a company like this until it breaks through. 
Analysts are saying it's a hold, not a buy or a sell. It's a hold. But remember, this was paid for by Seeking, by um, Global Star. I don't uh, buy any of their reviews. I don't believe in the reviews. I've done my own. They're, they're paid to say it. I'm not. Hedge funds. Hedge funds have been getting rid of this stock recently. As you can see, hedge funds have been selling it off recently. What about insiders? Insiders have been dumping it as well. Now, normally I'm not bothered about uh, insiders selling, but when they're selling 10 million in that period and we only have a market cap of 178, that's not good. Uh, we get a lot of... Um, uh, insider selling and it's just uh, normal tax purposes. But when the market cap is, uh, is 178 and they're selling 10 million, insiders are dumping their own stock and getting out of it. So that doesn't look good at all. That doesn't look good at all. Uh, earnings. Um, well, we last reported earnings just, just recently, actually. Uh, as you can see, it's constantly losing money. In Q2 of 24, it massively beat on earnings. Absolutely great. It became cash positive. That was great. However, that is the moment that the business should take off. Obviously, a trial went well. It's made some money. It's sold some technology. It sold some, um, it sold some research or whatever's happened at that period of time. It should have carried on. It didn't. It did beat earnings again, but it became uh, losing money again. Now, that could be because they're spending money in research. We don't know. We'll find out in a minute. But uh, we want to know what caused that, right? Who's buying the stock? Now, what ki what company does it keep will tell us how it trades. Plug Power, very manipulated, very scary. Pfizer, great company. I can see why people would buy Pfizer, but... Uh, Completely different uh, business, though. Fuel cell, uh, fuel cell, uh, very risky. Neo, oh, oh, Chinese stock. Rivian, a lot of gamblers coming in now. Snap, oh rubbish. Snapchat doesn't do anything. Tilray Brands, oh, very risky. Ocugen, Soundhound. I like this one. I, see, I like the technology, but uh, it's a very, very volatile stock. Charge Point Lucid, worst stock on the stock market after Mullen. Uh, Peter Rawlinson stole all the money, basically. Uh, he just pays himself all the way, all the profits. It's ridiculous. I don't know how he gets away with it. Robinhood, um, Robinhood, a great company like that, but I can see. Intel, rubbish. SNDL, yeah, it's the best of the sector. Um, Blink, AMC, all gambling, yeah. Moderna had its day. Ford doesn't do anything. So a lot of volatility here. Margin maintenance, 100%. So if you're buying it on margin, it's uh, as risky as it gets. So, so far, not looking great, obviously, but you can see it's a trading stock. I am uh, a trader when I'm when I'm taking a break. Uh, 19 trades in October, 19 wins. Never lost at all. Always make money. But I only buy stocks I can own forever. So I bought McDonald's when we had the E. coli scare. I bought Enphase Energy when we had the disappointing earnings. These are stocks I can own forever and I made profits on all of them. I wouldn't just buy something because it can trade up and down like this because I can end up being stuck in the down, never get out. And uh, I consistently make money. I'm not interested in losing money. That does not appeal to me at all with the hope it might make me rich. I'm rich enough with all of you joining me every day. I've got everything I want. So I don't take gambles like that. Anyway, let's look at the, the numbers now and the latest news. So first of all, if you like this, please click subscribe, ring the bell. And uh, also, would you please uh, um, tap uh, the like button as well? Songs for Space just said, one of my members, Fulcrum failed their clinical test for main drug, more or less dead in the water. Okay, that would explain that big dip there. Thank you for Songs for Space just giving me that news. One of our members here. Um, I can't validate that information, of course, just want to be... Uh, full disclosure, but our members are all uh, known to me and they're all credible people on the show. Great. Okay, uh, let's show you some numbers now. Uh, as we start off with the, we'll start off with um, the ratings. It's not a buy. No one's buying it. No one's selling it. 
They're just holding it, wait and see. Okay, never like to see that. Valuation, valuation, A minus. It's improved on its valuation from B minus up from C minus. So the valuation's improved um, by the fact it's gone down and it did perform. It did have a, a moment, um, but uh, anyway, C, C plus growth, uh, that slowed down. It were B before. Profitability, B. We'll come on to the profitability in a minute. Momentum, D minus. Brr. A minus looking good three months ago. Now not good. Revisions B plus down from A. So not looking good there. Uh, what about short interest? 9.2. Do not expect a short squeeze. There's not enough short interest to pop it up. We need a lot more than that. There's no volume either. So you're not going to get a short squeeze, but people are driving the stock down. So it's got a lot of downward pressure, nothing to, to really take it up at all. Uh, right, let's move on and uh, let's look at this latest news. November the 13th, this is just a few days ago, uh, beats on a oh, negative 35 beats by 0 0.05. So it did slightly beat on earnings. Like I said, it was a slight beat, uh, but still losing money, just better than, better than you know, people thought it was going to be. Um, end of the third quarter with 257 million in cash, cash equivalents and marketable securities. Cash guidance based on... On its current operating plans, Fulcrum expects to end 2024 approximately 240 million in, uh, of cash, cash equivalents and securities, and expects its cash burn to be the full year 2025 with approximately 55 million to 65 million. Fulcrum also expects that its cash, cash equivalents and securities in September will be sufficient to fund its current operating requirements into at least 2027. So it's got a couple more years of run rate before it runs out of money. Then it would have to go to you to uh, to to uh, uh, dilute the stock and all the rest of it. So yeah, it's not looking great. Uh, Fulcrum Therapeutics swings up 17% on Pfizer sickle uh, uh, cell during setback. Now, this was what happened a few months ago when it popped up, um, but then we know it failed. So we're expecting it to do well, and then it didn't. That's that's the, the, the news that our member just uh, highlighted me to there. Shares of Fulcrum are surging. This was back in September Thursday, the company's sickle cell uh, therapy asset uh, is seen benefiting from Wednesday's announcement that Pfizer was recalling its sickle cell treatment over safety concerns. So, and then we know what happened next. Uh, okay. So we don't need to cover all of that. Okay. Let's now look at um, the, uh, we'll do a back test and then we'll do the, the main numbers. As you can see, since 2020, it's only four years, the S&P is in blue, steady growth. This stock is up and down ahead of the S&P, below it. Yeah. In fact, like three times it beat the S&P and then dropped off. Very, very risky. Uh, obviously, you know, we all know what you want to do. Do you want to buy here, sell here, buy here, sell there? But that's not how it works. It's very, very difficult to do that. If you put uh, ten thousand dollars in four years uh, in the S and P, you got nineteen grand now. You doubled your money in four years. Uh, the uh, ten thousand in fulcrum, you've now got eighteen hundred left. You've lost uh, a lot of money, uh, over eighty percent. Right? Let's look at the numbers and let's see if uh, we can make money from this. So here we go. Tap the like button uh, and and consider subscribing and ringing the bell. What we're going to do now is we're going to look at the numbers and we're going to see if we can actually make some money from this stock by looking over the numbers. All right. So let's see if we can. Um, and it's an opportunity for you. Maybe, maybe not. Right. The price right now is 336 and the intrinsic valuation on this stock, which is unreliable because it's uh, uh, only uses DCF valuation. They don't pro provide enough information yet is it's overvalued by 28% base case undervalued best case 17%. Or worst case scenario, 86%. Well, we could be in that territory now, couldn't we? We've had a failure. So let's scroll down. Let's have a little look at the revenue. There's the revenue, 80 million, down 0.19. Um, expecting to rise. This is where we are. Um, let's go to about to 24 here. 
estimate in December. Uh, when are they going to report? They're going to report in um, the next earnings will be in, uh, or they're not showing the date, but we're expecting into December. No, I can't see the date. They're not showing the the next uh, date. They've just announced. So anyway, um, we're falling away, expecting to rise potentially in 26 if things go well. But we know they've got enough money, or they say they've got enough money, to 2027. Operating King income up 13% and now falling again. Net income up 11%, now falling again. After that, uh, operating cash flow up 27%. Investing cash flow up 23%, which is a negative. Operating cash flow up 31%, uh, which is good. So, you know, they had this recent bounce uh, on the last earnings, but now it's all fallen away again. Um, let's look at the assets. Let's look at the balance sheet. 279 million, uh, of which is cash is, oh, okay. So we're just a, we're just a bank. I don't like that. Uh, loads of cash. We're just basically all cash. We're not doing anything right now. not making any money right now. Waiting for more breakthroughs. This sector is very, very risky and this company is just not doing anything. So, it's just cash. 257 million. Let's look at the balance sheet. Have they got any debts? No. No long-term, no short-term debt. Okay, they're just cash. That's good. The balance sheet will be okay, but they're not making any money. It's not for me so far. Nothing about this is uh, appealing to me at all. Again, I'd rather buy it on the news of something breaking and then buy it than just to buy it because you can. There are thousands of these sort of stocks which uh, sit at the bottom like this going nowhere. Uh, and it's just a gamble whether they're going to hit or not. Operating margin, negative 35. Net margin, negative 22%. FCF margin, 11%. If you want to know what these mean, all these um, these terminology, these terms, you can open up the software. Again, I'll give it to you in the chat right now, or I'll give it to you below. This is, uh, this is Alpha Spread. A lot cheaper than Seeking Alpha. It's a very cheap uh, product, inexpensive, I'd say. Great. I use it all the time for my analysis. Uh, strongly recommend it. My members can all, all get a deal so good. It makes my membership virtually free. So strongly recommend uh, you, you use this. I love this software. I know the CEO and he's brought me such a good deal. Uh, it really is great. ROCRCE down 11%. ROIC down 158%. Need I go on? Everything is down. Not looking good. Scroll down. Uh, profitability, you can see, look, 36%. We've seen a lot worse. They are making you know some profit on what they sell, but overall they're not doing well, right? Thirty-six uh, percent. We've seen a lot worse than this. We've seen a lot better as well. Solvency, like I said, pile of cash, not going to go bust. You can buy it, not you know knowing you've got a couple of years here. They're saying twenty twenty-seven. Maybe you like the idea. Maybe you like a bit of risk in your portfolio. Could break through, uh, and uh, you know. You know that you you know you can get out of it in, in the next couple of years, maybe. Uh, worst case scenario, forty one percent downside. I don't like that. But look at the upside if it goes right. If anything goes right, fifty seven percent upside, three hundred and twenty seven percent upside. But you know I can see gains like this and other things without the risk. So it's not for me. I'm going to say that right off the bat. Um, I think we've covered it. Uh, we did see insiders selling recently. Uh, it's not showing up on here, but we just confirmed it. Um, so for me, this is not this is not uh, a buy. I think it's very very risky. If you are a trader, you might like this, find an opportunity to trade. But the upside is great. But there are other opportunities. But I don't think it. I don't think the risk to reward is worth it. There are other things that you can invest in, without the risk that can return decent profits. Remember, I've always said if your ch if your focus is chasing stock, ninety five percent of day traders lose money. If your focus, however, is how to save money and not lose money, you're more likely to win. And that's why I. You know, my portfolio is always up. And as you can see, I'm up again today, my all-time high. Again, uh, yeah, another all-time high. I'm making money all the time without taking all these risks. What's important? 
sleep at night, relax and get to where you want to do or try to get there in five minutes. I don't know. I know what I prefer. So it's not one for me. Uh, click above my head for all the links. Uh, this stock is not one uh, for me, I'm afraid. Uh, down below in the description, you'll also find our extra channel, which has now just got a big boost. We are live 24 hours a day. Uh, live radio show. Uh, you are getting live reviews. And you hear, I can give you this right now. This is my alpha spread. I know the C. There you go. There's all the information there. All the links are below. We've got live charts, live news, live tickers, 24 hours a day, live chat with the members. People can discuss things, speak to me 24 hours a day other than when I'm asleep. You even get live cameras. So you can see behind the scenes uh, all day, every day. This is fantastic. Um, uh, breaking news of videos I post as they appear on the channel, plus much, much more coming day by day. Uh, this is a great, great feature. And uh, I'm really proud that we've got now a 24 hour a day live feed. And uh, it's just going to keep getting better. I'm extremely proud of this. This is like, cool. I've got my own radio show. Anyway, so there you go. Check that out. Uh, what we're going to do now is wrap this video up. So all the links up there, down below. Over here, I shall put the playlist uh, for this stock so you can see uh, FULLC's full playlist. And down here, the alpha spread playlist, which are all the stocks I've reviewed with using alpha spread, seeking alpha, all of it. You can go and check it all out. All right, that's all my stock reviews. Until next time, as always, take care of yourselves and each other.